have you got it? I got it. The first of my supplements to help with my polycystic ovaries. I need to like keep this secret because <laughs> our address is on the front. Oh, it is. So obviously I need to like. Oh turn yeah, it we I'm need trying to, to be like careful with it. I'm not actually trying to hide the parcel. Like, yeah. I just can't show. Our we address. can't have all you guys turning up at our house. That, <laughs> <No>. <laughs> that wouldn't be good. But I've got my first supplements. I literally ordered these a few days ago. I've ordered like a few different things, like quite a few different things to help with my polycystic ovaries. But if this you guys, is this is the main thing, right? Yeah, this is one of the main things. If you guys haven't watched our last few videos i've just been um diagnosed with polycystic ovaries and i need to basically get my body back ovulating normally again yeah the reviews that were on this website are so good so i can't wait to like keep you guys updated with how i get on with it i don't want to like say the specifics of everything just yet because i only want to say stuff that works for me but i'm just trying so many different things that my naturopath told me to try and this is the first thing to arrive and i can't wait to feel like i'm gonna actually like get my period back hopefully let's hope but i do just want to say a huge thank you to every single one of you guys that have watched our last videos that have messaged me privately that have commented told me your personal stories about having pcos and like just not to worry and that it's something that can be managed and dealt with and all of your stories are so positive and so reassuring and it's helped me so much to just feel a lot like more relaxed and calm and just figuring everything out about this thing with my ovaries but yeah i just want to say the biggest thank you to you guys because without you i probably would feel a bit more stressed out so you guys have helped me a lot right i think it's time you tell everyone the truth do you think i think so it's been a while I and I'm, i think you need to tell everyone i think i'm ready do you want to help me explain this or do you want to just keep biting my fingers look at <laughs> her it's been so playful right i'm gonna put my hand in your so she needs like a dummy yeah i know but like my hand instead okay <laughs> most of you guys might know this already mm -hmm. and most of you guys probably won't i think this last month we've gained a new 150 thousand people right yeah it's been so, crazy some of you guys might not even know this yeah this is pretty crazy this is crazy and this i can't is... believe you're doing it i know it has a big impact on me and our future, future and our, even our children. our children everything right i have for the past 25 years <laughs> like everybody growing up with a name but my name if you don't know already, it's Harry Potter, which sounds... I don't even say it out loud. I know. Because j I just don't like it. And the thing is, I don't even think once about the fact that your name is actually Harry Potter. No. And I, don't, I don't think anyone does, because it's like everyone that I know, they're just like, oh, he's just Harry Potter. Yeah. But it's something that's drove me crazy for the past... I'd say like it's drove me crazy for like at least 15 years. Yeah, at least since you've been like At 10. least since I've like been 10 and like... Yeah, as a kid, I loved it. I loved it when my mates were like, oh, Harry Potter, or yeah. like, go somewhere. It felt like I was famous. Yeah. Was, but yeah, now it's kind of got to a point you don't like it anymore I don't like it guys it's just it's one of those things where i feel like i don't have my own identity i don't feel like i know myself mm -hmm. like my instagram is harry potter it's not yeah. even harry, i can't even have like, harry potter you've not it's... like no one can ever call you by your real name no one because you can't show anyone your real name anywhere online because it's physically impossible to say that your name's harry potter yeah. online because nowhere will, will even allow you it type in and my name was harry potter it would come up with like fan pages yeah or you know what i mean so i just don't like it no you I've, feel I've, like you I've haven't grown got your own it. Like, I've yeah. outgrown it. And like, now I'm 25. I'm like, it's been a long time since I've had Harry Potter as my name. Mm -hmm. And I just don't think I want it anymore. So, which is what are you going to do? I'm going to change my name. <laughs> I'm going to officially change my name. But it's it's exciting. It's very it's exciting. exciting. I feel like I'm actually, like, me. But I feel like you need to be a bit more specific. Yeah, I, I think I do. <laughs> I'm not changing my whole name. I'm just changing my last name. Yeah. Some of you guys are probably thinking like, why would you do that? It's so cool. Because it is cool, right? It like, is. Being it's very, Harry. very unique. unique. And I don't think anyone's called Harry Potter no, apart and from like, Harry Potter. Especially because I was born before it came out. Yeah. Like it wasn't like, that's another thing. Like my family didn't choose to name me Harry Potter because- They because, were fans. Yeah, yeah. It was like before any of it came out, only by like, few months though mm. one th cool thing that came out of it and i'm gonna get it right now <laughs> this was like i'm gonna cherish this for the rest of my life yeah this right here is one of the coolest things i can say that's come out of my name yeah. and like every every time i look at this it doesn't get boring no okay it's so really kept forever and ever those of you guys that are fans of harry potter you'll know that the author who wrote the book and the film it's called jk rowling mm -hmm. she wrote to me she did it's a bit of paper just here really i mean oh, technically it's addressed to my dad but it was written for me it was. You've got your own personal letter from and J.K. Rowling. J.K. Rowling, she's given me like a signed bit of, uh, thing of her, like she signed it and everything. And you're even in the newspaper when you're so small. <laughs> that is so cute. And my favourite part about that newspaper thing is it says Harry Potter. You go around the shops and you see things like pencil cases. It does. That are Harry Potter thing and you think that they're all made for you when yeah, you're little. Yeah, I did say that. Wait, that I'm going to so try and find it. Trevor, who's my dad, said he started school this year and we have brought him 
his Harry Potter pencil case and some other bits too. And his name is already on the stuff, so it saves us having to label everything. <laughs> but Harry sometimes thinks that all the Harry Potter merchandise is made for him specifically. That's so so cute. I, I, I remember that. I remember being in school and having my own pencil case, and I'd be like, look. That is Potter. very, very cute. You don't want your name to be Harry Potter anymore. I just, I don't, it, more or less, I just don't like it. Yeah. I just don't like it. And like, although it's my family's name and stuff like that, like, Come on, I'm called Harry Potter. <laughs> That's like being called James Bond or being called like Harry Styles. Or Actually, Mike, Harry Styles is quite cool. I, I quite Michael like Jackson. That. Michael Jackson, yeah. yeah. Like, if someone's called Michael Jackson, I'm pretty sure they'd be like, Everyone yeah, I want like, to change what the it. Hell? And as well, I think one of like the weirdest things I've experienced since I've been with you and you've had this as your name is even going through airport security is hard. It's so hard. Like it's People don't believe hard. you and they have to triple check your passport. Every they think time. That you're faking it. Like, and they like, they have to like scan it properly. And like, I always end up going into like a back room and they're like, is your name actually Harry Potter? Yeah. Yeah, and it's they also Potter. say like sometimes like they get they make you worry that you're not gonna get on the plane. Yeah, they do. So I guess if I'm gonna change it, I need yeah. to um how, how do I do that? I don't know. <laughs> I don't even know how you do it. Do I just do I have to like legally do documents and yeah, stuff? Yeah, it'll be on the government website. Let's, Let's go, go find it. <laughs> right, how to change my last name. You do not have to follow a legal process to start using a new name, but you might need to do a deed poll to apply for or change official documents like your passport or driving license. Okay. You can change any part of your name, add or remove names and hyphens or change the spelling. Should I just change my whole entire your name? Your whole entire Should I just change my whole name? My, my whole name is currently Harry Edward John Potter. I might be like Jonathan Forrest Gump the <laughs> second. <laughs> Turns out changing your name isn't actually that hard. Just a slight bit of paperwork and a few professional signatures and you're pretty much done, I think. Okay, so these are the documents that we need. Well, I need to fill out to change my name. Yeah, so we There's, found them online. Just yeah. 10 pages. We just printed them out. 10 pages. And got, we're going to fill them out now, right? Yeah, and then I guess that's it, right? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> After filling out the paperwork, the next step was for me to get a brand new passport photo. And FYI, I hate getting new passport photos. You're in the booth. I'm in the booth. Right. Four or eight. Four, right? Yeah, four's enough. What if it just turned <laughs> Don't what? take the piss. Don't take the piss, because I'm, no, I'm still I? here. I'm going to see gonna it smile. print out. I'm going to smile. No, you can't. You can't. <laughs> you need to be serious. I'm going to see it print out before you do. I'm going to like, yeah, okay. All right. You don't, you don't pose for time. <laughs> You're making me shy. No, you can't smile. Oh, my God. No, I didn't know it took the picture. <laughs> Look at it. No. Look at me. <laughs> That's awful. Go again. How am I supposed to know when it's taken? Go again. Just look at the camera and stay still. Oh, it looks so bad. Look at me. <laughs> I look. Well, I look like a mushroom. How do, how do people take good photos? Like, I don't I, know. I, see people flexing it on over I know it's like a trend, isn't it? It's getting a good trend. passport picture. And they're like, they're like. <laughs> look at me. The state of that. I'm like a frog. All right, try again. Do I look as ugly? For attempt, no. That's you may as well just lose that. Use that one. I don't like that one though. So you're gonna just use one more attempt. <laughs> so you've got one more attempt, and that one has yeah, to be the one. Why is my eye in that one like this? Look at my eyes. No, it's not. It, Your hair just looks quite like big and fluffy. I look like a nanny. Don't I? Like, yeah. a grandma, like a grandma. Yeah, it does. Has it done it? Yeah. I look great. <laughs> Alright then, let's go. <laughs> Nothing to see here. <laughs> Let me see them. It's not too bad, but like... Why does your hair look so puffy? It doesn't look like that in real life, does it? It doesn't, no. Are it's like sure? It's made your head look really like big and like... Yeah, it doesn't look like that in real no life. Gonna see it. No one's going to see it, are they? <laughs> 